Welcome back to our town hall with President Trump in Greenville, South Carolina. All right, Mr. President, the crowd's going crazy here, but during this campaign, a huge amount of your time has been spent in court, in the courtroom in New York and, and so forth. Now, in this New York civil fraud case, this Judge Arthur Engeron ruled against you for almost a half a billion dollars plus interest that r runs every day. When I first read this, like $87,000 a day. How will you put up that kind of money? Because you have a bond to put up. Even if, if you appeal, you've got to put up escrow money. That's uh, uh, it's a lot it of dough. It is a, lot a of dough. form of Navalny. It is a form of uh, communism or fascism. Uh, the guy's a nut job. I've known this for a long time, and I've said it openly. Uh, no jury, no anything. Uh, Letitia James is horrible attorney general in New York, campaigned on I will get Trump, I will get Trump. We went through a trial. It turned out we're totally innocent on everything. And he fined me $355 million plus interest on other things. 355. And what we did, in fact, my, my financial statements were conservative. Everybody made money. There was no victim. The bank gets up and says, we love this guy. I mean, they, they love Trump. You paid back the loans. 100%. No defaults, no anything. The bank asked me to... You know, banks lend money. That's how they make money. They asked me, would I borrow some money? They asked me. I didn't need the money. I had a lot of cash. And what happens is this guy ruled that I was guilty before the trial started. He didn't even know anything about it. He ruled that a house in Florida called Mar-a-Lago is worth $18 million when it's worth from 50 to 100 times that. Would you give up one of your properties to... Well, we're gonna, settle we're gonna this? Up, look, we have, you know, I wrote this out because it was so, it was so great. I just looked at it. People call up, all of your friends, the lawyers call up, they say, it's the most egregious punishment anybody's ever seen. Tim Scott knows that. He sees it. The Eighth Amendment, excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishment inflicted. That's the Eighth Amendment. Excessive fines. I have... This is a state court ruling. I have a fine. Yeah. I did business. I did business with a bank and insurance companies that loved me. They still do business with me. They wouldn't do business with... But you, got the, you have the practical... You're a practical man. You have a practical question, which I thought about a lot last night because it's yeah. such a huge amount of money. You have to decide whether you're going to put up that bond and escrow to, to appeal. Are I you do. going to do that? And where I'll, are you I'll tell get you what money? we're going to do. Number one, well, I have a lot of cash, but that doesn't mean he can take it. I mean, you know what he did? I think he looked at my cash and he said, well, we'll take all of his cash. This is all coming out of the White House. This is all, everything that you see, whether it's that one or the DA. In you Biden know, in the DA's office, this? in Bragg's office, he has his top people from the DOJ working in the district attorney's office in New York. Nobody knows that. Everything is coming out. This is all election interference. They're trying to damage me so they can win another election. They want to do, do you ever just a say, different form. Do you ever just say to yourself, you know, I'm done? This, this is what they... Why? Can't. A lot of people would have said, I'm going to come out. No, why are you staying in this? I can't because I want to make America great again. It's not great right now. And we can do that. We can do that. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.